First at 11, Barrel strikes again. The Category 2 hurricane made landfall on Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula just a few hours ago. With it came heavy rain and powerful winds of up to 120 miles per hour. It's brought down palm trees and damaged buildings in places like Playa del Carmen and Tulum, some of the country's top tourist destinations. Mexico's Civil Protection Agency has now issued a red alert, urging people to evacuate to storm shelters. Barrel is now blamed for at least 10 deaths in Jamaica and the Caribbean. Now we want to bring in our first alert, Chief Meteorologist Scott Paget, and Scott Barrel is expected to push on, possibly hitting parts of South Texas next. And we, people are asking, are we going to see any impact here? We might see some impact here in the form of some tropical rains, maybe even some quick spin-ups by midweek next week. Now that center circulation at the last update was about 100 miles east south east southeast of Progresso, uh, making its way off towards the west at 16. We'll continue to downgrade to a tropical storm, but over the warm Gulf waters through the weekend will increase again to a Category 1 hurricane. Latest information shows that perfect center track, if it takes it, uh, east of Brownsville going into Sunday night into Monday morning, then possibly making its way on shore, uh, maybe near Port Lavaca, if it takes that perfect center track. But what's interesting, as we go into Sunday night and then into Monday, continues inland as a Category 1, then a tropical storm. Then by the time we go into Tuesday and Wednesday, a tropical depression close towards central Texas. And you notice that all of North Texas now within the cone of Barrel with that five-day outlook for us. Uh, so we'll continue to keep our eyes on that.